All right, welcome on in, everyone. It's week four of season 14. Oh, Condor. This will be a Crystal Division matchup between Tuffofo and Yuka. My name's Tic Tac Fo. I'll be your commentator for the match. And it's about to get started here. Just waiting for the seeds to be delivered to the racers. Tough has a record of 34 and 14. The best win of 713, average 836. And Yuka with a record of 32 and 16. Best win 706, average 932. So looking relatively even based off those numbers. But anything and everything can happen during these races, which makes them exciting. Uh, I posted the schedule in chat just a moment ago. If you want to click on that, it's starting to be populated for the week. Everyone figuring out when they can do their matches. Which is exciting. We'll be picking up another commentary after this one. But for now, it's Tough vs. Yuka, race number one. Here we go. Early bomb and cracked wall on 1-1. One, one. Blood shop? Yep. All right, so Earth Tome in the middle. Yuka's just gonna buy that for the easy kill. It's relatively quick too. And we're gonna get rewarded with Explorer Boots, the Blood Drum, and then there's a Mimic Shrine on this level with the Obsidian Cutlass, which is a pretty rare weapon, all things considered. And then there's also the rat familiar. So like a pretty beefy 1-1. Uh, one, one. Tough's gonna skip the blood shop. Doesn't really want the uh, the blood drum or the explore boots. I mean, the boots are pretty good. Blood drum can be argued against. And having boots early is nice. It'll help you in coral riff. It'll help you uh, with goo. And that was some magic chicken in the barrel there for tough look at all those hearts it's a lot of hearts yuka should find that as well and checking the shop here there's a very good leprechaun milk for tough should be able to pick up um that ring of luck maybe isn't going to though leaving it behind and yuka's gonna do the same thing oh mind yeah i didn't have enough money to buy the, uh, the gold scroll, so I had to cut it a little short, but they do pick up the Ring of Luck. I think that's good. And here is your heavy plate in the 1-3 shop. Only one bomb needed because Cutlass can parry. Both racers are gonna pick that up. And uh, the Blood Shovel more than likely. A well, Blood Drum kill for Yuka, nice, that works too. Pretty solid 1-1, one, one, uh, or uh, zone 1. Not the food shop, that would have rounded it out nicely. Fortissimal, your zone 1 boss. Gets the flawless victory for tough. Yuka just getting into it. And a purple chest is gonna yield a transmute spell. Which is only good if you use it. Flawless victory for Yuka. We'll see if they go for it. Yeah, it looks like they are. I mean, they could go black and hope for like a weapon, but. Transmute spell can totally like break the run if you're using it a lot and wisely. You can get some really good items that your opponent will just miss. So grabbing it after tough seems like the correct choice. Ooh, Torch of Walls found for Yuka. That's something tough missed. As they're taking on deep blues right now. Mapping before zone three is very important. And a flaws for tough. Transmuting the purple chest finds a glass torch, and that's mapping. Just don't get hit with it. 
Looks like uh, some pretty easy exits right away in zone three. Stuff just headed straight towards them. This last one a little bit more difficult. Yuka into that same zone now. There is a Shrine of Darkness here, which Tuff is going to go to and grab. Before leaving this this floor. They're going to have to deal with pretty much every enemy on the floor, though, now. Yuka could decide to skip that and just go. It looks like that's where they're headed. Yeah, Core Rift going to be your zone. Three boss, both racers into it at relatively the same time. And here's where the Explore Boots are going to help Yuka. Uh, they can get right in there, place the bomb... And we're both in phase two at the same time. Good blood drum for Yuka. And they're gonna take the lead into zone four. Purple chest has some freeze tomes. Tough's gonna pick that up. Yuka transmuted theirs and it was not good. A monkey teleport for Tough in the dark. Doesn't look like it helped them out too much. Nice parries for Yuka, and they'll be done with 4-1. Tough doing a really good job of catching up in that level, though. I guess the monkey helped. Yuka just going to rock this uh, two and a half hearts. There's another monkey in an arena for Tough. Going to find an Obsidian Rapier and the Ring of War, so that's like a pretty solid upgrade from the Cutlass, and that's something Yuka's going to miss now. I wonder if they even saw that. They just like uh, oh, it's, were teleported to it, essentially. There's a good pixie kiss for Yuka. Just into the 4 3 exit room. Explore boots helping out again. Another pixie kiss, and we're into the zone 4 boss. A lot of telemonkeys for tough. And death metal is easily taken out by Yuka, and they are continuing on into zone five. Tough taking a bunch of damage at that exit. Did get a pixie kiss on the way out. Another easy death metal fight. Five two for Yuka. Tough will be able to catch up with that rapier. The move attack on it. However, uh, Yuka's parry ability will be a bit safer. Gigantism scroll for Tough. That could be fun in uh, the Necrodancer fight. But down to one heart now. As they exit the exit room. Enter the exit room. And we're both on Dead Ringer at the same time. Quick kill for Yuko with the Blood Drum. Tough's gonna have to do... Uh, looks like Japanese strats. A bit off the rails here for Yuka though, and Tough's actually gonna be quicker into the Necrodancer fight, and we'll see that gigantism now. I think. Dig's bigger. Yeah, there it is. Yep. It's like a big dig. And uh, apparently it doesn't cost blood to use? Huh. That's neat. That's a big slime. Necrodancer should be scared. And that Shrine of Darkness take for Tough is going to make these lures much easier. They've reduced aggro from all these enemies. And they're going to take it right at the end. I didn't know that either. Cancel. <laughs> That's pretty good. One more hit for Yuka, but Tough's already way on, on their way to the exit. They'll be done first. 728 race time. There was a three second difference though in the dot duns. Just over three seconds. So it won't be an auto contest. Stop taking that one. Imagine if their gigantism didn't allow Tough to <laughs> exit through the stairs. They had to wait the wait the spell out. <laughs> Great, great first race there between both of them. All right, they're right into the second one. Countdown's already on. Here we go. 
Early trap door. Oh, tough checks the uh, room over to the left and finds an earth spell. If Yuka sees that, they might want to reset. Yeah, they do. Earth spell is very strong, especially early on. Many things you can do with it. And there's a pain shrine here. Looks like Tuff's gonna bring the skeleton down for it. Last helm, armor, flail, and then the courage. So we're on a mop. Find that bat, yeah. Let's see if Yuka does the same. Looks like they are. Just dealing with this Minotaur at the same time. No, Yuka is going to stay on the Blast Dome. It looked like they were going to uh, go on the Spike Gears. There's the heal in the 1-3 shop. Tough killing Freddy for that. Looks like Yuka's on their way to do the same. Back up to full health. Gets a torch and a backpack as well. There's one of the uses for the earth spell. You can open crates and barrels. Oh, tough. <laughs> Taking a dunk there. And that's just kind of uh, how the mop works when a dragon's right next to you. Yuka's gonna take uh, a fire hit as well, but we'll both be in the Kanga. We'll probably see an earth Zuma from both racers. Yep, and we'll be in the zone too. Cleaning it up with this mop. No one's gonna check this chest. Eh, it's red. Could be something. It's cheese. Carrot found for tough. And cookies. All the food. All the snacks on this adventure. That mop exit was very nice for tough. Finds a trap door and they're into Core Riff, your zone two boss. Earth before Core Riff? Amazing. Yuka's trying to get these cookies, I think, yeah. We'll eventually get them. And Tuff's gonna skip the chest, so feels good with this build. Finds a Shriner along the way here, but doesn't want anything in it. Yuka into the Core Riff fight now. And into zone three. Bit of a long three two here, but we'll find the exit. And Yuka's set up to be in a good drafting position here. Yeah, you can see they immediately go up in three two. And there was a trap door in three three, but it may have gotten covered on tough side. Anyhow, Yuka at the exit. And for Tissimal, your zone three boss. Tuff's already down with it and straight into zone four. No chest check. Yuka taking a hit there. It's gonna have to eat the cheese. Get back to full health. And they tried the monkey. It did not work though. Sent him back to the beginning. Feels bad. Right idea. A lot of bombs for both racers. They could uh, utilize that blast home to help out these exits and such. They're tough starting to use it. Find some magic cheese along the way. Ain't gonna be into 4-3. Yeah, there you go using it on a, a golem. It's good. Use it on these blade masters, yeah. Tough's gonna be into the zone four boss first. You go down to half a heart for a moment there. Smash some cookies. Deep blues, gonna get earthed. And you could try to speed this up going through some traps. But it might be out of reach now. 
Tough taking a few hits there, but still has four cookies. Here's Deep Blues for Yuka. They'll get the Earth kill as well. But tough already on to 5 3 when Yuka jumps into that zone. See another dead ringer. We have Earth Spell for a quick kill. It's a left side spawn again. Yeah, we're setting up for Earth. Well done. And plenty of bombs for the Necker Dancer fight. You could just completing 5 2 there. So a pretty good cushion for tough. It was in phase 2. And looking to finish sub six, pretty close. <laughs> Two more hits. Oh, getting confused there. And yeah, missing the attack there. Yeah, missing it all. Feels bad. Yuka off the rails here. There you go. Tough finishing at a 625. The mop, pretty dang fast. We'll get one more the race out of these two. <laughs> All right, looks like they're ready. Maybe this seed, they'll have to struggle a bit <laughs> and not finish in under seven minutes. Whips for everybody. Right, here we go. Black chest right away. It's a harp. Yuka picks it up. Oh, and then there's a crate and barrel shop and it's pretty much a gimme here. Pack a holding and uh, a bomb charm. So big bombs for both racers. You cannot go in for the pack of holding. There is a cracked wall here. Tough gets the Minotaur to open it for him. Blood shop has armor in it and holy water. Tough's going to buy both of those and then uh, use the holy water to get healed up right away. Looks like Yuka's going to do the same. Yuka found some spike gears though in a different barrel. So advantage on the damage front. But Tough did check the shop and there's a map in it. Which looks like Yuka was uh, farming up some money for. And they'll eventually head their way there. Tough also found uh, some glasses. So they, they are getting some damage bonus. But not three is like a lot I'll allow Yuko to open this barrel and get a protection charm so yeah more things that tough can't have uh, leprechaun milk there for tough looks like Yuko's gonna get a leprechaun as well small milk This shop's got a decent shovel. Yuka's down one coin from it though. Just gonna buy the chain mail and leave. There's a shrine of mystery here. Tough's gonna pop it and see a longsword. Obsidian longsword. We're gonna run with that. I imagine Yuka will do the same. Yeah. There's that titanium flail again. Oh, Yuka grabbing uh, the boots of floating, the floaty boots. Uh, I love the floating. Interesting choice. 
Maybe just wanted to get through that hallway, but can't take this trap door now. But we'll have an easier Coral Riff. Can get right up into it. Maybe they saw the boss was Coral Riff. Uh, unless they're just fighting the tentacles. It looks like they're just fighting the tentacles. Get up in there. Purple chest check for tough. It's going to be an earth tome. Maybe you could just wanted to draft still again. I would check black here if I saw that. Uh, transmute. Shop for tough. Going to find the big dig. Uh, this will be good for Yuka though. They can get off these boots or they're going to stay on them. Oh, he has, has to line it up with the uh, armadillo. Yeah, you gotta get off these boots. You know, lead boots. And then uh, the big dig as well. And we'll move on through the zone. Tough on to 2 3. Finds a glass spear. Not gonna grab it. But there is. A free ring of regen on 2-3. Bomb trap right next to a shrine of blood. Imagine both racers will get that. And a conjurer. Uh, tough going for a weapon. Uh, Old Faithful and a titanium whip. It'll be on Old Faithful now. It's for damage though, so it's like a glass weapon that don't break. We're both into Fortissimal at the same time. Just kidding, it's Kanga at the same time. Pretty much beat for beat here. Earth Zuma for tough though. Yuka's gonna get the flawless victory with a very fortunate teleport there and is gonna look for something in the blah purple chest. The blah perp, yep. Uh, didn't find anything though, so just kind of a waste of time. I think you check black there because you could find a cat or a city or a rapier and that's your move attack weapon over your opponent wonder if they're not like screen watching well tough didn't check never mind so like they could have had a spell in there which would have been huge we're both on two three tough just completing it in death metal you could kind of get caught up in this bat cave Tough missed the first earth, but got the second. Or they used it for the beetle. Two hits for Yuka, and they're out of there. Tell Monkey for Tough taking them shopping. Yuka does not want the Tell Monkey. And there's a potion on this level. Tough's gonna go for it. Before leaving, Yuka's gonna see it as well. But they're gonna leave. Yeah, I think that's fine. Got the ringer regen. You're essentially on a squega suit with that protection charm. Boots of pain here for tough. Oh, and a monkey takes him back to the beginning of the level. So Yuka gonna slingshot forward into 4 3. Way before tough now. Nice defensive earth there for Yuka. Pile of gold on the bounce trap is super annoying. <laughs> a lot of crate and barrels uh, on this seed. Deep blues for Yuka first now. Nice bomb there for tough. Yeah, it's deep blues. Uh, probably setting up for Earth. Yeah. Tough's gonna have to fight it out. Oh, a bad check there for Yuka. I mean, like, you have a map. I knew that that was filled with things. Maybe you didn't. Yeah, I suppose you did. But into 5-2. Find some more bombs along the way, which is really good for Yuka, because they only had one. Tough will probably pick that up as well. Oh, getting, uh... Petrified using some earth to stay alive. And Tufkin kind of blocked off from this exit. 
all these enemies. They're gonna pop their potion. Yuka at the 5-3 exit, trying to get around their own swarm of enemies. And will eventually be into the Dead Ringer fight. No quick kill. It's a left side spawn again. All left side spawns today. Setting up an Oblivion strat. Looks like we got it. Well handled with that rider. Tough gonna do the same. Also handling that rider really well. Gets the flawless, and we're both into the Necker Dancer fight. We both remembered we have big bombs. Looks like it. Yuka's into phase two. And so is tough. So it comes down to lures and teleports. And tough's dead. Just kidding. Tough did a die. So Yuka's going to get this one. And 8.33. GG is... I think Tuff just uh, was using too much health to get through zone five. So by the time we got to the Necker Dancer, can't take those skeletal hits. GG's though, fun race. Got a few more races coming up yet today. Just posted the schedule in chat. We'll be commentating another one. Uh, right now. Oh, just kidding. I'm looking at the wrong thing. In a half an hour, that'll be Ochre versus 